What if investigating a disappearance led you to vanish yourself? That's exactly what happened to Keith Reinhardt in 1988, a case that remains one of the most baffling cold cases in American history. Reinhardt, a journalist from Chicago, went to the small town of Silver Plume, Colorado, to investigate the eerie disappearance of Tom Young, a local bookstore owner. But just weeks into his investigation, Reinhardt himself disappeared without a trace. Was it a coincidence? Or did Reinhardt uncover something that put his life at risk? Let's explore the strange and unsettling parallels between these two cases. Did investigating one disappearance lead Keith Reinhardt to vanish himself? That's the unsettling question surrounding the 1988 disappearance of Reinhardt, a Chicago journalist who went to the tiny town of Silver Plume, Colorado, to write a novel. He became fascinated by the eerie case of Tom Young, a local bookstore owner who had disappeared months earlier. But soon after starting his investigation, Reinhardt himself vanished, leaving behind a mystery that remains unsolved. Keith Reinhardt, 49, had taken a sabbatical from his job as a sports writer, hoping to pursue his dream of writing a novel. He moved to Silver Plume, a quiet mountain town, and rented a shop to focus on his work. However, Reinhardt's focus shifted when he learned about Tom Young, another local who had disappeared in 1987. Young's body, along with his dog, was found in July 1988. Both had died from gunshot wounds. The official cause of death was ruled a suicide, but many in Silver Plume didn't buy it. Reinhardt became obsessed with Young's story and began basing his novel on it. Friends say the case started to consume him. On August 7, 1988, Reinhardt told people he was going to hike up Pendleton Mountain, a rugged area near the town. It was late in the day and Reinhardt wasn't an experienced hiker, so his decision puzzled those who knew him. He left around 4 p.m. with no hiking gear or supplies. When Reinhardt didn't return the next day, a massive search was launched. Local authorities, volunteers, and even helicopters combed the mountain, but no trace of Keith Reinhardt was ever found. It was as if he had vanished into thin air. The similarities between the two cases are eerie. Both men were middle-aged, lived in the same town, and owned shops on the same street. Reinhardt's growing obsession with Young's case only deepened the mystery. Some believe Reinhardt's investigation may have led him down a dangerous path, retracing Young's final steps. But what really happened to Keith Reinhardt? Was his disappearance a tragic accident, or did something more sinister occur? There are several theories surrounding Reinhardt's disappearance. The most straightforward is that Reinhardt got lost or injured while hiking in the treacherous terrain and succumbed to the elements. Silver Plume is surrounded by rugged mountains with steep cliffs and hidden crevices where an inexperienced hiker could easily get trapped. Another theory is that Reinhardt's investigation into Young's death uncovered something dangerous. There were rumors of illegal activities in the area, including drug trafficking, and some believe Reinhardt stumbled upon something he wasn't supposed to see, leading to his disappearance. Lastly, some suggest that Reinhardt's obsession with the case may have caused him to stage his own disappearance or suffer a psychological breakdown that led him to wander into the wilderness. Despite extensive searches and investigations, no trace of Keith Reinhardt has ever been found. His disappearance, combined with the strange parallels to Tom Young's case, continues to baffle investigators and armchair detectives alike. Was it a tragic accident, foul play, or something more mysterious? We may never know. Like and subscribe to Baffling Mysteries for more stories that leave you searching for answers. Thanks for watching.